the upper slot. To watch Ava Miles play. And you would never know what rests inside the Henrico five-year-old's tiny body. But right around her hip. A shot. A lasting reminder of what happened on July 15th in 2020. She was like three innocent and carefree. Kiara Lucas and her two daughters were asleep inside an apartment on O Street in Church Hill around midnight. It was like a machine gun going off kind of. I was like scared the life out of me. Gunfire outside made its way into Ava's room. She started screaming and I thought it was just I'm scared kind of scream. So I ran to her in the dark and she was soaked in blood from her waist down. Thankfully, Ava survived, and the surgeon opted not to remove the bullet. It'll do more damage to surgically remove it for her, for her leg. Just let it keep. Her story is all too common these days in Central Virginia. We have lost a six-month-old. Dr. Jeffrey Haynes is the head of the Children's Trauma Center at the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU. The children are in the way, and uh, they are the innocent victims, and something must be done. Haynes says hospital data shows the number of kids 14 and under who were the victims of firearm injuries increased 25% in 2019, another 25% in 2020, and yet another 25% in 2021. It's eye-opening, isn't it? He says 10 years ago, nearly all the gunshot victims the Children's Hospital treated related to safety events. For example, when a child found a gun at home that wasn't locked up and accidentally shot themselves or someone else. Now we see twice as many violence related events where the children are in the wrong place at the wrong time. And in those shootings, the likelihood of death is much higher. Bullets are just destructive and any sort of central injury to the chest or abdomen can cause the loss of the life of the child. Yes, that's the sad truth. Let's put on our boots. If they do survive. Let's put on our hats. Like Ava, they carry a heavy mental burden. Now they need you know, individual therapy, they need family therapy, but then they also need community support. They need support in schools. For her, she associated sleep with, you know, I'm gonna get hurt. So she wouldn't sleep or sleep by herself for a long time. Ava's mom now has a message for those who catch innocent children in the crossfire. When you randomly shooting that, bullets don't have a name. You know, it could be a three month old, a three year old, a 10 year it doesn't matter, they're still somebody's baby, you know, that you're putting their life at jeopardy.